Peace, love, light, and King Noble Black Supremacy. So I wanted to talk about having a height, heightened awareness and an awakening in your consciousness. And uh, some things to look out for if you have, uh, have gotten this heightened awareness. Um, so once you get to a certain level of consciousness in your mind... Um, like, <laughs> you know how we get into the habit of planning our days ahead of time and whatnot, and, um, things don't go exactly how we plan them to go, but we still ultimately end up fulfilling our goals or whatever. I hope I didn't confuse you by saying that, but the main reason why you want to not necessarily be wrapped up into planning your day is for to embrace and welcome um, more infinite possibilities because uh, when uh, things are never as they seem when you open yourself up to the uh, infinite possibilities um, your feelings do not mean that certain things will not occur or will not happen. So your own doubt can actually affect you in, in a way where you wouldn't want it to affect you. So just keep in mind the reality that you're trying to build. Um, and uh, keep in mind your thoughts and try to uh, embrace the infinite possibilities more so. I know it's a little bit difficult especially if you're new to um, awakening your third eye and whatnot so I know when you are just beginning on the path of that there are certain habits that you are still attached to or that you um, still act in certain ways but one like I said um, I will hopefully I mentioned in this video I'm not sure but if I didn't I'm gonna mention it again when you reach a certain heightened awareness in your consciousness and you do um plan your day out of routine um out of habit you naturally um it, you still have a natural spontaneousness energy that kind of surrounds your aura so things happen in miraculous ways or in way different ways like cra in crazy ways that your mind that your mind might not be able to wrap itself around so um that's why in my videos i talk about not being attached having no attachments and um kind of keeping your keeping uh, your energy and your frequency um um balance i guess i would say keep keeping your frequency and your energy balanced um not giving too much energy to happiness or sadness literally trying to do your best to carry out the same energy regardless of either of those just doing your best to do that because i know we were taught differently um before we reprogrammed our minds you know but uh hope I was able to bring some useful information to you. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, and also share. Peace, love, light, and King Noble Black Supremacy.